have now got for you a little bit of a demonstration of some of Cicchetti's work. It is, in particular, the adage that was so difficult. He had a method of training where every day of the week, nothing was left untouched. And so that, that meant that the dancer didn't have to concentrate on the order of what was coming next, as we do in class nowadays. We, we have daily ballet class, and you set different exercises. But in this case, with Cicchetti, he had set exercises that were devised in a way that they really made the body work correctly, and you just couldn't get away with an eyelash in the wrong place. The arms were coordinated with the legs, the, 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 sh um, the direction of the head. The, you could either have a turn of the head or an incline of the head or a turn and an incline of the head. It was all very meticulously worked out and, of course, therefore trained the dancer to be totally in control, coordinated in time with the music. Um, these adages in particular are very, very difficult and I've I've had a great time over the last two weeks with uh, one of our dancers, Nicole Edmonds. We've been practicing for the last two weeks. It's quite difficult, to, uh, different to the sort of adages that we do in class now. And he's worked very hard. It's very long. And earlier on today, when he went through it in the studio and a couple of other dancers were standing by, they said, oh, that's difficult. So. Um, Let's have um, fuerte e balote. Okay, thank you. Chiquetti says, aim at ease and softness in the performance of your dance. Endeavor that all shall be free and harmonious and rhythmic. No matter how hard you work at your lessons or at rehearsal, let none of the effort of your labor be visible in performance. There should be no sign of concentration, tension, or exertion. All must be free and flowing, because the true art is that which conceals the effort that produced it. <laughs> 